Hi, and welcome to HIT 220 Coding 1. Uh, my name is Dotsie Baxter, and I am going to be teaching this course. Uh, eventually, I will get a video up so that you can see what I look like, but I did want to introduce myself and also walk through a little bit about what you're going to find in this course. Um, I'm always in the background uh, teaching this course. I'll be giving you feedback on your tests. I'll participate in discussions, and I'm available by phone, text, email, Skype, whatever works uh, for you, you know, if you need to communicate with me. So I hope you enjoy this course, and I'm going to start to show you a little bit about what is in the content of this course. Uh, on the front page here, you'll find news items. Um, every week I may be, in fact, putting up a new news item, and uh, I may record that as well to introduce you to the week. You can click on the content to bring up the week, um, the, the table of contents. In getting started, you're going to find some backup documents. There is an instructor biography here. There's a little overview. There's a document copyright for students. Tells you what you can and cannot reproduce. Um, there's a student guide for D2L if you need help with that. Instructions for using the Dropbox. Um, in week eight, maybe, there is a, a paper or a short answer paper on HIPAA. Um, it's here in Getting Started if you want to take a look at it ahead of time. Uh, the rubric for how discussions are graded, a little bit about our class interaction and the ethics of that interaction. Um, and then we also use something called Quizlets within the uh, some of the modules. And here's a little tutorial at the bottom here on how you use Quizlets. You'll get started in week one. I'm sorry, I skipped over syllabus and course schedule within this. Um, module is the all-important course outline, which is a short two to three page version of what is due every week. And you might want to click on this, like that, download it, which will open a Word file and print it. And then you can keep that next to your desk. I'll show you week one and a couple of other weeks just so you sort of see what is in here. Every single week we'll, ha we'll start with a, a page of instructions and that should be pretty comprehensive. If you read that you should be able to work your way through the week. There are Dropbox assignments. Some of them are individual. Some of them are group assignments. Uh, a Dropbox is where if you click this link, you open it, Inside it may well be another document which has the, the project instructions on it. In this case, you're going to download this. You're going to do the, what it asks. You're going to answer right on the document, the Word document that you have saved, and you're going to put it back in to um, this exact Dropbox by using this upload feature. Click week one, we go back to week one content. Uh, in this week there is also discussion. Click on this and it will open the discussion. This particular week is classmate introductions. Most discussions require at least one original post and one uh, response to another student's post for full credit. Um, hopefully you'll have more conversation than just those two, but that is the minimum requirement. Here, here is an example of how the homework will often look. You click on a Word document and open it. You do the homework and then you open the quiz document here and enter your answers. In this week two there's a couple of videos to watch and here is another homework assignment which is you can open the worksheet, do the work, do the answers, open the quiz document, enter your answers. So that's a little overview of what you will see in, this is a fairly typical week. It actually, this actually contains everything that we do. We either have drop boxes, discussions, and homework. Uh, there is a midterm exam, I believe in week nine, and there is a final exam in week 16. So that's a little overview of what you can expect 
in this course. And again, contact me if you have any questions, any troubles opening things, and I really do hope you enjoy this course.